All right, everyone, I am extremely excited to make this video. Uh, hopefully, I can cross some Jurassic World Dominion viewers with Jurassic World Alive viewers because this is a bit of both. It's very exciting. Uh, I want to kind of talk about a creature that is uh, rumored to be appearing thanks to game presses data mine and i'm extremely excited for it now if you can see the two creatures i'm putting up on the screen it's probably kind of obvious what this hybrid will be a giganotosaurus and therizinosaurus hybrid now you're probably going to say isn't that the indominus rex well yes it kind of is because it did have therizinosaurus and uh giga but uh it was more of a velociraptor t-rex hybrid now, uh, here's the descriptions. Therizinosaurus means scythe lizard. Three razor sharp claws on each of this herbivore's forelimbs. Measure a whopping three feet, the longest of any known animal. That's crazy. Giga, even larger than the T-Rex, this Cretaceous carnivore measures approximately 43 feet in length and weighs in at 15 tons. And here's the hybrid Giganix. Though Giganix's vision is poor, studies by the DPG suggest it is very sensitive to flashing light, movement, and scent. This may be an adaption for nocturnal hunting. Now, Onyx, it translates to claw or fingernail. And obviously, it's spelled Giganix, and Annex means the same as Onyx. So, Giga obviously means giant. Now, you're probably like, there's no Annex or Onyx in Therizinosaurus. Um... But Baryonyx and Megalonyx, they are highly likely candidates. But Onyx slash Annex translates to claw. And we know who has extremely massive claws? Therizinosaurus. Now, here is my interpretation of this hybrid. I worked so long on it. A couple of hours, I reckon. I was combining... Obviously, it's got the main structure of Giganotosaurus. You can see that. But I got three different renders of the Therizinosaurus from Jurassic World Dominion. And was it, the hardest part was probably the feathers on the back. I was turning spikes into feathers, basically, the red ones. Um, I got the Therizinosaurus tail and photoshopped that on, so it's the textures aren't as great, but I still really like it. Um, I just loved how it turned out. But yes, I reckon Giganix will be looking like that because in this data mine, there was a high root for every single creature in the game except if... Um, all of them are having hybrids, and Giganix isn't part of Therizinosaurus, and Therizinosaurus would be the only one without it. But, uh, apparently there are other Onyxes, or Annexes, getting hybrids as well. Thylaconyx is coming, which is a mammalian reptile hybrid. Now, this could be, like, a hybrid with Baryonyx or Megalonyx, but I reckon they're overdoing that too much. So I reckon they'll do it, they'll end the Baryonyx, Megalonyx thing with it. And it did say this hybrid has poor vision. Now, in that trailer you just saw, Therizinosaurus, like, finds it difficult to kind of find Claire. Like, it's moving really slowly, and so is Claire. Like, is this because she's trying to hide from it? Um, and it can't probably see her moving that slowly on the ground? I mean, I'd say it's a possibility. It would be cool if they're kind of adapting that. I mean, it can mean anything with Blue Deer games. Like, they love to throw stuff in that... It's just fun, non-canon stuff, really. I love it a lot. Um, but yeah, Giganix. This means Great Claw, or Giant Claw, I assume. I mean, Therizinosaurus already has Giant Claws enough, so I reckon this guy is going to take the model of the Giganotosaurus animation and not Therizinosaurus. Now, what will Giganotosaurus' animation take? I reckon it will probably take the Indominus Rex rig. That is uh, because Giganotosaurus is basically meant to be the Indominus Rex. Oh no, it's Indominus Rex is meant to look like Giganotosaurus because it's got part of its DNA in the genome. And the, if you've seen the Lego one, it's using the exact same head as Indominus Rex, which is funny. Now obviously Therizinosaurus, there's already Therizinosaur animations in this game. They've obviously known Therizinosaurus and Giganotosaurus were coming. Two main creatures. They never added to the game, but they added a Lickosaurus. Why? Obviously because Therizinosaurus was coming, and they knew since 2018. So yeah, I reckon Giganotosaurus... Actually, they would have to shrink the arms a lot. Yeah, no, I don't think Giga could use this rig if they're going to use small arms. Giga could have a new rig. That would be extremely fun. And a new roar. That would be extremely good too. 
I, re I really hope they don't, like, use T-Rex. Actually, T-Rex would be okay if they put a new Raw on it for the that animation. Now, this is why I reckon Giganix will have the Giganotosaurus rig. Simply because this kind of is like the Giganix, right? It's got a Therizinosaur plus Indominus Rex, which is meant to, like, be a Giganotosaurus lookalike. So, I reckon Giganix will try to differentiate from early Dominus and just be a bit different. I reckon that would be cool. And it would really yeah. emphasize Great Claw. Like, there is any source of big claws, but on an extremely big creature, imagine how big those claws could be. Jeez. That would just be insane. But yeah, over Baryonyx and Megalonyx, I reckon there is any source has a much higher chance. And they've done this with names before. Like, you think Chromosphorus and Jurassic World Alive. That's a hybrid of Parasaurolophus Lux and uh, Spinosaurus, but it has nothing to do with it. Or, then again, it does, like it glows and stuff, so that's where the name comes from. But, yeah, I'm saying Giganix here, the claws in Anix is like those in source. I mean, it would be the smartest business route, right? Two of the main, I did a poll on YouTube, right? The, out of the five new creatures coming to Dominion, the main ones, Wexel, Atrociraptor, Pyraptor, Therizinosaurus, Giganosaurus, Giga and Therry were the top two most favorable ones. So this would be an extremely smart business move to hybridize these two creatures because people are going to want to play the game if the two fan favorites are getting a hybrid together. Just how awesome is that? Really? Giga and Therry hybrid. Cool. When you're done watching Dominion and the fight's over, I don't know when the update will drop, maybe before Dominion after. But like, we're done watching Dominion, the update drops, and like, alright, we just saw one of these creatures possibly kill each other. Now let's see them all fused together. Which would be a lot of fun. They've got, um, new moves in Kalyan, which is like, Devour moves, I believe that one. Like, does it rending attack or, or, or it heals? I'm a bit confused on how it works. But there's a revenge run. We know that there are Xenosaurs have like revenges or at least kind of Pyrus does. So that could mean that Giganix will have like the revenge devouring and stuff. But yeah, I've used this stuff on screen that might possibly have the animations. And here we go, we'll end with early bombers. The closest thing we have to Giganix so far, even though um Indominus Rex. Yeah, it'll basically be a fluffy Indominus Rex, I reckon, or a feather Indominus Rex. It'd be a lot of fun. I can't wait to see it. That will be about it of the video. We've got our win. Um, and yeah, stay tuned for tomorrow. Here's a teaser. It's a DreamWorks X Jurassic World Alive crossover. I can't wait. But if you're excited for that, hit the notification bell, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye, everyone.